Next, I'd like to talk about, talk about offside hip. Like the stick side high shot, offside hip is a little bit different, and there's also a little gray area sometimes as to whether you want to go underneath and make a save or go over top, and I'll explain. Setting up, setting your same stance as you always do. Feet shoulder width apart right here, but the difference is I want to bring, there's two ways to do this. You come right to the ball, ball's being shot here with your hands, or some goalies have a tendency to scoop. Either way, it doesn't matter. Ask your coach. As long as you make saves, they don't care. Do it any way you like. So, the typical movement for an offside hip save, just here, my wrist is turned out. This is where this plays a huge, huge role. I'm, I'm not hindered and I can move to any spot. My wrist is turned out, I'm in my stance, and when I get to move, I'm here, following up, and you can see how flat or straight up and down my stick is right here. I'm allowing for the most possible surface area with the head of my stick to make this save. A lot of goalies will turn their hips. When you make a save and you turn your hips, you're kind of looking like this. A couple bad things happen. If you notice, the head of my stick goes from here with all this surface area to stop the shot to this. I got virtually nothing. So unless the ball comes in and hits my stopper, it's going to be a goal. Also, I'm turning my hips and making myself smaller as a goalie. Here, if I turn my hips, I'm, st I'm not moving, I'm not taking up this much goal. If I step, I'm, with just one little step, I'm already covering that whole spot. Last thing why you don't want to do it is, your stick gets caught in the net. I've done this, I did this a million times when I was younger. You turn your hips, stick gets caught in the net. Sometimes it can be difficult to get it out, believe it or not, while the play's still going on. The ball might be in the ground and you're not in a spot in a position to make a save. So right now I'm going to go through the shot so you can see the proper mechanics of it. A little lower. Pretty important if you want to start to get fast breaks. Now, the gray area that I spoke about before is kind of what happens when the ball comes right about here. You're not always sure if you want to go underneath because it might be too tall, and sometimes you might have to come over the top. So there's a gray area when the ball is above your hip and below your chest, kind of right in here, where you're not always sure whether to go uh, underneath or over the top. Pick a place and just go. It doesn't matter what you do. If you make the save, it doesn't matter. But don't hesitate. Once you're going one way, don't stop.